My name is Carson, I'm 10 years old, and I love to play with big snakes. Boom! Oh, froggy, he's a monster. Isn't he just gorgeous? Oh, but froggy beat me right on the hand. Woo! That's gonna leave a mark. Maisie's an albino, and she is super long. My first snake was a cinnamon and milk snake I got for Christmas, and now my collection has got so big, I have an albino corn snake that's five, six. This is actually part of Maisie's poop, right in there. So you can tell that she can't digest the fur, so she just pooped it out. Carson started working with animals when he was really young. He um, developed an interest when he was probably 18 months, two years old, he knew lots of facts and tips about it, started collecting a lot of little animal toys, and then that's just really grew and grew until now they're no longer toys, they're the real thing. <laughs> what cool fact about the bearded dragon is that they'll actually, with their defense mechanism, they'll make themselves look big, They'll stand on their hands as tall as they can, and they'll, what the predator, if the predator's coming at them, they'll be like, oh, I see you, if you come in near me, I'm gonna bite you. And they can be very territorial with other males. Love you, Beardy. I want to be like Steve, or I want to go around the world and do like documentaries and stuff. Woohoo, he is a beauty. Now, this guy, why he has those triangular teeth, because he's insectivorous meaning that he likes to only eat insects, and that's about all he eats. Let's move on to the next animal. Steve Irwin had a huge impact on Carson, and he does like to do animal shows, and he loves to drop, you know, crikey, or, you know, just some quotes that he's heard. G'day, mates! G'day, mates! G'day! Woohoo! Reptiles rule! Home oh, animals. Does the beard, the um, tortoise eat this? Squash? Oh, yeah. yeah, you have to cut it up in small bits. The snap and tear, I'll always have to watch what I'm doing because he strikes so fast and you just have to be really careful what you're doing. But not really, he's really the only one that really gives me kind of the chills. Let's see if he's in there. Oh, I feel him. Oh, just kidding. Oh, here he is. I've been bitten and scratched by a bunch of different animals. Snakes, lizards, turtles. I've been peed on by frogs, and I've actually been bit on the pinky by a gerbil. Right here's the Sinaloa and milk snake. He's one of my favorites. Now the Sinaloa and milk snake, they're native to Mexico. They like to live in the desert. Oh, but crikey, bit me right on the hand. Woo! Oh! Rocky that hit. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Now, what I didn't do is what you don't need to do is when he bit me, I didn't jerk my hand away. And because if I jerked my hand away, I would have ripped his teeth out and then he would have got an abscess and that would have been my fault. Let's put him up because he's very angry. He got bit in the face by a, um, a gecko one time. But when he gets bit by the snakes, they're never like, I don't think they bite him, like fully bite him. Like it's usually just like a couple little small. My friends like interacting with the animals a lot. They help me out with feeding typically the lizards, the turtles, the frogs, and sometimes they'll help feed the snakes. Does anybody think, know what Beardy eats? Um, worms and crickets? Yes, feel his back. I like turtles. Do they live in water? No, he actually lives on the land. He lives in a continent named Africa, and he has those claws and those armor-plated arms right there to help him burrow, and oh, he's peeing. Basically, these toes right here, if he didn't have those, he would fall off and he wouldn't be able to stick onto the trees. Does, his, um, does he stick to a window? Yeah, they can stick to windows. Carson 
Jason is, he's a strong-willed child, so he has a, a very um, bright pr personality, I guess you'd say. Kind of talks about being a vet, but really he's kind of part of conservation efforts is really his goal. Protecting animals mm -hmm. and, you know, educating others on the importance of, you know, protecting certain species. And how that happens is something called global warming. I'm very proud of him and what he's been able to accomplish at such a, at such a young age. It's pretty incredible.